To download and install OBS Studio for free, do not pay money for this program. It is open source. It is free. Google download OBS Studio. In case the link changes, this is your best method. Your top search result will likely be the correct one on obsproject.com slash download. Click that official link, and then it'll take you to a page that looks something like this, where you have multiple download options. Obviously, Mac is the Apple icon, Windows is this icon, and Linux is this icon here. Select your operating system. There are a few notes you should know before you install. You need to have Mac OS 10.13 currently or newer. You are going to have to upgrade your operating system in some cases. I recently had a client that had to do this. You will download installer as your next step if you're doing this on Mac. Today we're going to demo Windows. Make sure you have Windows 8, 8.1, or 10, and click Download Installer right here. It's just the easiest way to get this thing installed on your computer. Then, once you see the download, it should pop up down here in the bottom left-hand corner if you're using Google Chrome or elsewhere in your browser. Go ahead and click the installer and start opening it on your computer. It's probably going to ask you for permissions. Go ahead and grant the program permissions and walk through the installation process. I'm hitting Next. I'm agreeing to the license information. You select your folder that you want the program to be installed in. I'm going to install mine on the C drive program files. Hit install and it'll go through the process. It's not a big program. This shouldn't take too long on your computer. It's a relatively fast process to get this thing extracted and installed on Windows and Mac. Once the installation is complete, it will give you a checkbox as to whether you want to launch OBS or not. Leave that checked the first time you do it, so it'll pop it up for you automatically. Go ahead and hit finish, and it should bring up the program, and there it is. And it kept some of my settings from the last time that I opened the program, as you can see. One quick power tip for the video, if you want to have quick access to your OBS on Windows or on Mac, you can use Finder on Mac to do this. Type in OBS, the name of the program, and on Windows, uh, what I recommend doing is right-clicking on it, in pinning to your taskbar. You can also, if you want quick access to it later on, right click and pin to your start bar. And Mac has a similar function to that. And if you'd like me to help you with advanced setup with your OBS, if you're doing webinars, YouTube channel, live streaming, I do one on one video coaching with creators, businesses, tech startups. Go to awalldigital.com, link in the description below. You give me your challenges, you link me the avenues that you're looking for me to work on, and you're on a one-on-one -on -one video call with me. I'm one of the top experts in the entire world on live broadcasting. I've been a technical director for the last 15 years, and I'm happy to help you with your strategy and help you enhance your online broadcasting.